Although I have a couple of Raspberry Pi 4s and a Raspberry Pi 400, I've got about three or four old Raspberry Pi 3Bs, uh, 3B pluses. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I could turn one at least into uh, something useful. And I decided I was going to turn it into a game server so the children can have something to play with. Uh, in particular, the Mind Test and Assault Cube. They do like to play the multiplayer games, and I would rather them play games with each other rather than online. But So this is where that can keep them safe, and yet they can still enjoy themselves. I decided I was going to use a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, A, because the lining around not doing anything, but also I wanted to see, using FreeBSD, whether or not the Raspberry Pi 3 was still relevant. And it's a great little mini-computer, so I'll give it a go. And of course you'll need an operating system, and in this case I'm using FreeBSD 13. Uh, I'm using FreeBSD 13 Stable. Um, you could use Release if you wish. I'm using Stable because it is, that's not one that I usually touch. And I wanted to see how it performs. Of course you can always upgrade to Release once you've uh, installed it, but I think I'm going to leave it as it is. First we're going to need a FreeBSD image. And, and the one we need is more or less right at the bottom, and that's for the RPI, the Raspberry Pi. And we'll go for the latest one available, which is oh, the one at the bottom. So we start to download. Once it's been downloaded, you go to the directory in which it's been saved, and we need to actually write it to the USB stick. So I'm using DD to copy it. You can use the parameters that I put there, obviously changing your uh, drive name and number. And, but, you know, do it whichever way you prefer. Right, once that's uh, burnt to the disk, we will boot the Pi with the USB in. Now, installing FreeBSD 13 or FreeBSD in general on a Raspberry Pi is not the same as when you do it on a uh, AMD64 machine or a PC. You don't get the usual configuration menu, and it's, it's practically just already done. It just expands onto the USB stick to take up all the available space. So you just let it boot and it'll uh, present you with the default root login. And the default login for FreeBSD uh, is root for name and root for password. So you perhaps want to change that or at the very least set up another account. So once we get to the login, type root and root again. There we go. Let's clear that screen. I'm just going to install some things and then I'll set up a different account. I'm just going to install the bootstrap for the package tree and there we go, it's going. It's not going to be as quick as on, say, a regular PC, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to search for mind test, that's the first thing that we're going to install. And, oh, package update. I'm doubling up the commands here. Oh, now it comes through. I'll be confusing it if I carry on like that. Anyway, mind test is there. So PKG install mind test. It will install some things which really we don't need, but that's, you know, it's part of the package. Right, that's done. Now we're going to uh, add a user so we can uh, not do everything in root. There we go. So, uh, Robo Nuggy. And of course, we can change the root when we need to. It's just that I feel a little bit more secure not doing it in root all the time. So, clear. Oh, yeah. Just going to add a. I, have a look for some, I think I've forgotten to uh, install oh, Mind Test Game. I don't know whether I need Mind Test Game. I know if you do, if you play the game locally, but I don't know if you need it as a server. I'm just going to install it anyway. There you go. So exit that. And I think it's got mind test, if I can remember, it's mind test uh, double hyphen server and double hyphen terminal so we can see one interact with what's going on. Ah, it says error. No name given for admin, please. All right, okay. Need to configure it first. I'm doing all this from memory, so it's, uh, I'm probably going to make a mess of it. We'll, we'll try. Right, we're just going to change 
to the mind test local hidden directory. And yeah, there's only debug, so there's no config. So I'm going to copy over the main uh, configuration and we're going to copy it to the local hidden mind test folder. That should do it. I'll list again. There we go. Now we have a local copy we can work on rather than uh, trying the main system wide one and messing it up. Right, we need to search for admin. And there we go, if I can find it. Right. Type in name equals dad. Save that. Right, once the server's up and running, I was going to see if I can log into the uh, server, see if it works. Now name dad. I'm not going to bother with password. Very good. And it all seems to be working. The frame rate's a little limited. But apart from that, yeah, it's not working too bad. And this is a, a mind test server now running on a Raspberry Pi 3 on FreeBSD, which is not bad at all. Hopefully it can have six players, or maybe eight players actually. Eight players logged in all at once, and still keep up, I think it will. And there's the server terminal as it's uh, registering other people that's uh, logged on and playing. It's very good. Of course, this terminal allows me to act as super user. Right, we're installing Super Tux Cart, and this also should run very well on the Raspberry Pi 3. So PKG installed Super Tux Cart. Uh, there's a lot of dependencies it needs to download, but most of which we won't be using because we're using it as a, a server only. Right, I'll just fast forward the install. It's not the quickest on the USB drive, but it's not too bad. And there we go, and we exit out of that. Now, if I remember again, it's super tux cart, double hyphen lan hyphen server. Pretty self-explanatory. Give it a name. That's uh, server. And it should be going. And again, if we just log into another machine and start the game up. Go to online. Then we'll choose local networking. If this doesn't pick it up, then you go to the enter server address manually. So find server and there it is. We'll just wait for the others to slowly join. There we go. There's one or two more to come, but... And again, this is the server message scrolling up as the uh, game unfolds. Before we install uh, Assault Cube, I'm just going to have a quick look at top. See how the system is running with two games actively running. Not too bad. Plenty of wriggle room yet. I'm only using 29 megabytes, so plenty of room. Then we're going to install PKG install Assault Cube. It's a nice self-contained uh, game. It doesn't pull in a lot of extras. Assault Cube is one game which they really enjoy. It's, it's not the most advanced games, but... It's really ideal for older computers or for lower resource machines. So for the Raspberry Pi 3, it will be very good. Just going to fast forward this because it does take a while. The Raspberry Pi 3 doesn't use USB 3, so you are limited by the speeds of the, the ports. It's not too bad, but it can be if you use the faster speeds. We'll set things going. Okay, here we are. We're connected to the server. Very nice indeed. Again, it's, it's running quite well. I mean, it's not of the most graphic intensive of games. You can up the, uh, the graphics on the client side if you want, but it runs very well. I should imagine that they'll enjoy themselves very much uh, on this. Very nice. So, again, we'll look at top, see how things are running. With no one logged in, they're not using too much. Like I say... This increases a little bit when people are playing online. But it's not too bad. So it's only three games. Um, I'm going to 
change a few things later. We're going to install quite a few mods into Mind Test. That's one of the benefits of it. Because they're really the they used to you know they, they used to playing around at the friends and playing on uh, Minecraft. So they'll probably complain that some of the things on Minecraft is not available. So I have to add the mods in. Uh, Assault Cube runs very well. I've seen them play it, and Super Tuts Cart is always fun, even for adults to play. There are other games I can try. Of course, I'm going to try putting um, later on Dark Places, which is like a quick modification, and a few other ones if I can find them. There are one or two uh, things which are missing from the Raspberry Pi FreeBSD repositories. For instance, uh, on the main FreeBSD ones for AMD 64 machines, there is a Minecraft um, server. You, there isn't one available for the Raspberry Pi as yet, but you never know. You might get ported over. So, but beyond that, Raspberry Pi is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. Cheap, £30. Plus, I don't know what that is in dollars, probably about $40. Get a nice uh, case for it, a USB stick, put FreeBSD on, and make a little gaming server. It's not gonna, it's not going to install the latest games on there, but for a cheap multiplayer session, for a bit of fun, excellent. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.